Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to fix AL4 or DP0 gearbox fault. In fact, it's the same gearbox but with different name. This fault is very common with Peugeot, Citroën and Renault cars. So what it does? The car will start and drive fine but after a while it will go into limp mode followed by gearbox fault message showing on the dashboard and sometimes P1167 fault code. This P1167 indicate low oil pressure inside the gearbox, possibly because of blocked oil filter, blocked solenoids or faulty solenoids. In today's video, I'll show you how to replace those solenoids. But before you get started with that, I'll suggest you to check fuses, wiring and battery voltage. If all of those are good, then go to the next step, which is replacing the main pressure modulation solenoid valve and differential solenoid valve. Basically, those are the two solenoids located at the top of the valve body called pressure solenoids. Talking about steps, here is what you need to do. Disconnect the battery, drain the oil, remove the front metal case, unclip solenoids electrical connectors, Remove the 7 bolts and take out the hydraulic block. Replace solenoids and fit everything back together. Those steps are similar for any car fitted with AL4 or DP0 gearbox. It might look intimidating, but trust me, if you take your time with each step, you'll get in there. Stick with me until the end of the video and I will show you every step from start to finish. When it comes to draining the oil, keep in mind you have two drain plugs. One is the outside metal one and after you, you take that out and drain the oil, you'll get a plastic inner tube. Altogether, you should drain about 3 liters of oil out of this gearbox. Take out the metal cover, it's held in place by 4 bolts, don't forget to change the gasket when you fit it back.
This connector needs to come out. I took the cover off just to show you how it looks inside. Now you have to pry out the rest of the electrical connectors. Before you take the valve body out, you have to unclip the pressure solenoids electrical connectors. At this point you need to keep track of everything, don't mix the screws or other components.
Those are the solenoids that needs to be replaced. At this point you can replace the solenoids and put everything back together on the car, but because we come that far I think it makes sense to go even further and clean the hydraulic block. Again please make sure you don't mix anything. To clean the unit I use a detailing brush and new gearbox oil. That's all I've got for you today, please make sure you check part 2 of this tutorial where we'll assemble everything and test drive the car, I'll put the link in the description.